What is up YouTube? Collecting Yins are back with a brand new video. I'm going to open this second box of the Twilight Zone Archives um, Trading Card 2020 Edition. Um, this is box number 0342 of 6500. So, um, very excited. Um, I'm sure some of you saw my last Twilight Zone box break. Um, very, very nice product. Uh, the the, um, the base cards are just incredible with the, um, the artwork of, like, movie posters. Um, with really, really, this has some super nice, like, very, very nice insert cards. And, um, the autographs are also very nice. They got Orson Bean and Denise Alexander. In the last one... Let's go ahead and break this one open and see what we get out of this one. Um, if you are a fan of the Twilight Zone, I have to admit, I would highly recommend. I bought several of their products. This is definitely my favorite one. Um, just like I said, the Howling Man, first of all, that's a great episode. But um, the artwork is just amazing. It has the credits these are just awesome i'm definitely gonna have to see if i have a full set with this um i hope i do but if not i will definitely have to get it because this is the nicest or i shouldn't say the nicest because i guess that's objective but this is my favorite twilight zone um set of cards that i have purchased um, thus far that have come out. And it looks like the collation is, is pretty similar. Um, so I don't know if there are cards that are like short printed or, or harder to get or what. Um, I think in the last video I mentioned I had not seen... Oh, well, I was just talking about the Eye of the Beholder. Um, I don't think I've gotten a base card of that, but that is a, um, artist proofer. I don't really know what they call these inserts, but it has the, the, um, like facsimile gold foil signature of Juan Ortiz. And this is 149 of 150. So that's a very nice one to get. Um, perhaps the most famous Twilight Zone episode that there is. So, just again, super nice cards from a great show from back in the day. And um, they are remaking these. Um, this is the series that Jordan Peele is basing his Twilight Zone series off of. It's, I have not seen that yet. Um, I definitely need to. All right, not much going on so far. Just the one insert, but that is a, definitely a nice one. Um, this is going to be that like sketch type insert deal, and that is from um, the um, Joe Caswell and Execution. Okay, yeah, that's where he is going to get executed and then gets flashed into the future. So that's a pretty good episode there. There's a really nice auto checklist in this product as well. There's some huge names like I, you know, you can get cut autos of um, Rod Sterling. I would love to get the one of like Rod Sterling and um, William Shatner, but there's also a cut of Rod Sterling and Bill Mummy or Mummy. Um, and then there's some big name autos that you can get um, as well. So just base there and I continue on. I mean, even the backs of the cards, if you look at them, even the backs of the cards are just, they look really, really nice. 
up. Well, I already showed that. Wasn't sure if that was an auto or not, but it is Buddy Joe Hooker. And I'm gonna be honest, I am not sure I remember what episode he is from. Oh, he's in the Changing of the Guard as Dickie Vice. So, not a bad auto there to get for the first one. So, base there. That um, first card in that last pack is a game of pool. Uh, that's another one of my favorite episodes. Jonathan Winters is in that one. Like I said, lots of um, lots of like duplicates in these boxes. Um, I know there was only so many episodes of the Twilight Zone, but um, it seems like you get a lot of the same um, the same cards. So I don't know if, as I mentioned, I don't know if the way they printed them. There's like short printed base cards. I don't know if they made more sheets than the other. Oh, okay. So Nightmare as a Child. Um, the artist insert, I guess, for lack of a better term, the Juan Ortiz gold foil insert, numbered to 150. This is numbered 19 of 150. So that's a nice one. I think we're a little more than halfway done. Invaders. I don't recognize that. I don't know if I have gotten that insert yet or that um, base card yet or not. So that is the auto, the inscription auto. So we will save that as we did the last time I was able to recognize that that was the auto. So I'll save that one for last. Hopefully it's a big name. But like I said, I'd be happy with anything. Oh, a Twilight Zone stars of Joseph Ruskin. Um, I really am a fan of these inserts. Even though they're landscape, they look really, really nice. He's from The Man in the Bottle. So, definitely a nice insert there. Invaders again. Try and expedite this a little bit. I know I've been taking quite a while to open these and just really enjoying it. Simon Oakland from the 30 Fathom Grave. It's another nice one there. I also believe that this is a season four episode the season four episodes um the reason they're so notable is they were instead of they were just like 30 minute time slot they were given an hour time slot and there's a lot of their um better known episodes are in that season so last two packs of the box Caesar and Me, um, Artist Proof. So it looks like you get three of these per box, two of the Twilight Zone stars, and then one of like the sketch type inserts. That's 140 of 150. And the last pack. This box is to be like anything like the last. This one should be all base. So we'll go ahead and finish up here with the last auto. It is the inscription one. And it is Gregory Irvin. And the inscription is I'm from Venus. Um, so that is Mr. Dingle the Strong. That is um 
one of the more notable lines from that character. As a matter of fact, that might be the only thing he says in that episode, but I can't remember. Um, so, definitely nice, clean signature. So yeah, guys, there's the, the two autos from this box. Um, Gregory Irvin and Buddy Joe Hooker with the inserts being um, Simon Oakland, Twilight Zone Stars, Joseph Ruskin, Twilight Zone Stars. Got the Twilight Zone insert of Albert Salmi as Joe Caldwell. And then the three artist proofs, The Caesar and Me, Nightmare as a Child, and Eye of the Beholder, all numbered to 150. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's staying uh, safe and healthy. Let me know what you think. Um, I might have to get another one of these boxes. Not sure yet. Um, definitely a nice product. So yeah, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Staying safe. Uh, best of luck to you ends with your pack breaks, box breaks, retail hunting, TTM, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Baseball, Basketball, Football, Soccer, Hockey, Badminton, Tennis, whatever you're into. Best of luck, and I'll talk with you later. Peace.